Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Kendall. Today I'm going to be talking about the Travis Scott One Low Phantoms and I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you guys just because I cannot believe I actually was able to purchase them for retail. So yeah, really excited to be sharing this video and if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. Okay, so starting off, I am just going to be doing my first impressions on the shoe. I just wanted to do like a quick little video just giving the details about it and what I'm thinking about the shoe and just do like some little close-ups so you can see what they look like. And I was actually able to purchase these on Travis Scott's website and I was like really shocked because I always enter for all of the shoes and I never get it. But yeah, I'm really happy with this one. I mean, obviously this one's going for a little bit less than the rest of them, but this is still a Travis Scott low, so I'm really excited. And it does come in this box here. So it's just an all black box and it does have like the Cactus Jack symbols and also the Jordan symbols on here. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty hard to see sometimes, but it's just like in the lighting. I feel like in the camera it might be a little bit harder. But in person, it is very like faint, but you can definitely see it. And then what's actually different is it is like in a sleeve. So when you take it out, the Nike box here is all black as well. It like mimics the shoe exactly. So yeah, it's just like a regular Jordan box, but it does have an all black look to it. And then this is very shiny, so you can see the Nike symbol. And then what's really interesting too is when you open the box, these shoes are actually wrapped in like this bandana print so that is something different and what's really cool about it is the bandana itself has the jordan symbol and the cactus jack symbol so i mean i'm not really sure what you could use this for i mean some people use it for like their hair or just like in their pocket or whatever so yeah it's just something different and it does have the Jordan logo along with Cactus Jack so it is kind of cool I mean it's just something different and also I did want to mention that they do retail for $150 and then on Travis Scott website I did have to pay like 23 or 20 something dollars for shipping which did suck because that is a lot for shipping but the good thing is it didn't take like forever to ship it did come in I feel like within a week which is really unusual for Travis Scott website because you usually pre-order things and it takes like forever but I mean, it's still a lot cheaper than for resale, so I really can't complain too much. But yeah, that just was kind of weird because on Sneakers app, you don't have to pay for shipping for that. But yeah, just another thing, but still they do retail for $150. Okay, so getting into the shoe, here they are. And my first impressions on them, I'm actually liking them a lot better in person than I did see a lot of photos online. Be just because like I'm not a huge fan of an all black shoe I don't really wear that type of shoe just because for me I feel like it's kind of hard to like match everything even though it's all black and it really would match everything I just like a little break in the midsole I like to have something a little bit different color just to give it like a different look to it but my first impressions on this I'm actually really liking these and I'm kind of surprised just because the look on them is a lot better than online with that being said i feel like you can see the different kind of like shades of black and the different materials used so that's why i'm liking it more just because i thought like a lot of the photos you kind of saw it was just like all black and kind of blended in together but in person i'm feeling like you can see a lot more like you can really see the nike sign and just the different like materials used on the shoe so yeah i'm actually really surprised with it and I do have to say, I do really like this in person. I'm really surprised. I feel like I was just like expecting something different. So yeah, it is a really nice classic shoe. And again, you have the Travis Scott Nike sign here, which is the backwards check. And then on the other side on here, you do have the Cactus Jack logo there. So it is very faint, but it is there. And yeah, so they do use different materials on the shoe. I really like that. I feel like it is different and makes it kind of like stand out, especially on the back here. It's kind of like a fuzzy material, but when you feel it, it is pretty rough, like it's really sturdy. And then on the toe box and on the sides, it's very smooth to the touch with the suede type of material. On the inside of the shoe, it does say Travis Scott in here, but it's like kind of backwards. And then on the bottom of the shoe, it's just in all black sole here 
And then in the other shoe, it does come with two other laces. It's like a black and white lace and a red lace here. And then in the shoe, it actually comes with the black laces. And on this, the other shoe, the insole is a little bit different. It does have the Jordan sign and it does say Cactus Jack in there. And then also there is a little bit of detailing on the tongue here. It does say Cactus Jack in red writing. So overall, I would say that like the shoe is very minimal compared to the other colorways that they have just because there really isn't like a ton going on. It's just really all black and has like a few little details sticking out. Also on the back, it does say the Air Jordan here. So yeah, it's pretty basic for a Travis Scott shoe. I mean, obviously you can tell that it's his because of the signature Nike sign here. But I would just say that it is a little bit different than his others because he does do a lot of brown and neutral colors. So yeah, it was a little bit different, but I mean, there's only so many brown colorways you can do, I guess. But I have to say I am really liking this in person, like more than I thought I was. Like originally, I'm like, mm, I'm not sure how I feel. Of course, like I'm going to win the one that I don't really like the best. Obviously, I like the brown ones better, but I do have to say these are a really good option. And just because they aren't going for a ton on StockX or, you know, reselling sites, they are a little bit cheaper than other um, of his colorways. I would say it probably is a good one to get, especially if you like an all black look. I would just keep in mind, it might be a little bit harder on camera, just like looking in the reflection. It does kind of still look to be like all black, but in person, the black colors, like the different materials, they do stand out. And you can tell the difference of it. The only thing is the Cactus Jack type of like little logo here. It's just very faint. Like I don't, I can barely see it myself. So I doubt you could see it in the camera really. But yeah, just keep that in mind. There are a little bit of different things here. The only thing that I would say I'm not a huge fan of is in the inside on the like ankle part. The material is very... Uh, fuzzy so it kind of feels like it's easily like peeling so I would just keep that in mind if you don't like that but obviously it's not really showing it does kind of look nice but the feel of it is kind of weird but yeah that's like my only thing that I don't really like about the shoe but everything else I would say is pretty nice and yeah it's actually a really good shoe to have so just for sizing in case anyone is wondering I did get my usual size and for women's I'm a women's eight and I got a men's six and a half so I would just stick with your true to size for the Jordan 1s. But yeah, so my first impressions on these, I actually am really surprised. And I am really liking them. But I'm really curious what you guys think of them. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking about them. And if you guys pick them up as well. But yeah, let me know if you guys think that they're going to go up in resale prices or down. But right now, I think they have been going down a lot than like when they first came out. So yeah, just let me know what you guys are thinking about them. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.